nursing staff and medical staff now because this is a, this is a hard place to work. This isn't a place where you can come in off the street and just pick up where you leave off on the outside. This is a whole different world. It's not an easy job. It's not a job where some people would, would be willing to work. You have to be afraid for yourself and hope that you come out of this place every day. I'm, I'm hard. Um, so we know our inmates inside and out. I was going to ask, are all the LPNs and the health uh, folks in there, or, or nurses, are they all... Is this your prison? Yes. Uh, okay. It is. And what's happening is that they're going to outsource the jobs for the nurses at the uh, at the SBI unit to some private company. Yeah, not just the nursing, not just the nursing jobs, but the um, medical records and the clerk typist jobs as well. They're all lumped in. Okay. Right. And the uh, on your press release, you said that uh, this poses a, a danger, a threat to. The communities? We believe it does. Okay. Yes. The, the, yeah. the reason we believe it does, and I feel real strongly about that, is again what I was saying to the gentleman before is we, we know our inmates. We know how to handle them. We know how to educate them. Um, and, you know, the, for instance, uh, hepatitis C is a big concern in the, the prisons across the state. Um, that is a deadly, dangerous disease. If we don't pick it up here, they get released into the community. If we don't treat them here, they get released into the community. If we don't pick up tuberculosis here, it gets released into the community. It can be an outbreak of something that is astronomical. We watch it closely here, and like I said, we know our inmates. We know when there's a change. We know when they lose weight, and we know when they're sick. Because we know them on a daily basis, and they know us, and they trust us. They will come to us with things that they might not normally go to anybody else with because there's a trust that we have between the medical staff and the inmates because they know us. They don't like change. And it's not about what the inmates like, but to keep them safe and to keep our officers and our staff safe, there has to be a trust. And we have it here. We have good rapport with the So we, we like to keep it that way for everybody involved, including, including the community. It could be it could be devastating to the community if an outbreak or something gets outside the prison that we didn't catch because someone came in and didn't either want to take the time or didn't know how to do the job. And security is another big, big thing here. When new people and if new people come in, it's my understanding that they will not be trained. We are sent to the academy with the officers for three weeks wow. for the same training that they have with contact with these inmates. So we know how to we know how to keep those the inmates under control, and we know how to protect ourselves. So. All right.